So Notebook LM is this really cool research type of AI tool that Google has made. Now it's really awesome and I'll go and show you kind of quickly how to use it, but keep in mind, it's kind of gonna sway you to pay for it, but it still is like a really, really cool, powerful tool. Now, this is basically how you access it. You can go to notebooklm.google.com. So notebooklm.google.com, you wanna make your way over to that particular website. Now, after going to that particular site, what you're going to see is you're going to see a bunch of this type of stuff after logging in. It's gonna tell us to create our first notebook, gain new understandings and all these other things. So we can go through and create a new notebook or we can try an existing example notebook. In this case, we'll create a new notebook. Now it's going to tell us to go and start adding resources. The way to remember this is you're going to have to upload like a PDF, text files, you know, markdown files, anything you want to kind of research more into these particular files. So here you can go and tap into here and you want to go ahead and choose files. Now I'm doing this on my iPhone, but you can do this on really any device and you can start uploading files. In this case, let's say I had a PDF file of some sort. Let's say this PDF file I really wanted to go and kind of use. I can go and tap into here. I can go and click on open and it will go ahead and open up this particular file. Now I can go ahead and add a note up for this file. I can go and have an audio overview. I can do mind map. And you can tell it gives me a little bit of a breakdown on exactly what this PDF file is already. Now, the coolest thing is that if I just kind of go through and just kind of see, you can tell me exactly, you know, tells me exactly what this thing is. I can go through and start asking questions about this particular file set. So I can go through and I can start asking you questions about these files. So I can go through and say, you know, when, when was this made? And I can start kind of having like a chat back and forth about information about these particular files. So it's actually pretty insane how cool this is. So you do have this text box down here. You, it, it, it does give me kind of, you know, message prompts back that I can kind of just ask it immediately. You have a send option right here. And if you click on this little file icon right here, um, it shows you how many files are basically available in the system. You can add more files to it. If you click on this arrow right here, it'll just show you more prompts that you can ask it. And you can also thumbs up or thumbs down in you know, a prompt if it was good or bad. And to Studio, if you click on Studio, this kind of gives you a little bit of an, a breakdown of kind of what you can do here. You can create an audio overview in, in more languages, so you can change languages too here and have an audio overview depending on what you're trying to do. You can add notes of your particular data sets here if you'd like, which is something that's really cool. Under sources, it'll go ahead and show you the sources that you currently have for your data sets. You can go ahead and add more data sets here if you want to. So you can click on add, you can go and start adding it. This prompt, this box is the same thing as it was before. You can add more prompts into it. You can add more text into it. And that is something that's really cool. So Notebook LM just basically shows you, it gives you a, a, a lot of prompts of kind of going through and kind of adding in more data and kind of getting insight from your data just by asking it questions, like a conversation. So that's essentially how you use it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.